episode Afro Senpai coming to you live from Wenatchee and the Coast Inn Hotel at a teacher conference right now but I still need to be producing content for you guys so here we go we're gonna update you on what happened with that July paycheck let's go So let's get into this. Did my beautiful plan of moving money around and putting it into that uh, DCP, <laughs> DCP plan work? So before we get into it, though, we need to talk about the three scenarios that could have taken place. Number one, the first scenario is the best case scenario. Best case scenario is all of my summer school money was on this paycheck a um, hundred or one thousand five hundred and eighty three of it was um, taken out pre-tax to DCP that is best case scenario uh, scenario number two is my summer school hours were on the paycheck but the DCP plan did not activate and it was using uh, my old rate. So instead of saving all that money and uh, skipping out on like $300 worth of tax money, um, I get a bigger paycheck, which means I'm taxed more. And then the worst case scenario was um, my summer school hours weren't on my paycheck, but my DCP took out the full amount of 15 83 that would have been worst case scenario so sadly my master plan didn't work scenario number two happened dcp um, deducted only the original 200 dollars that i've been doing from my paycheck so i got a hefty paycheck and we'll take a look at the numbers in a second um here let me put up the paycheck already go all right I logged into DCP to change from 200 to 1583 and I as I was changing I saw this little side note that said changes could take up to um, 30 days to initiate or to complete and I said oh that that made me kind of nervous even though I was doing it at the beginning of July so I just did it anyway and then I checked uh, my account a couple days later and it said new monthly chain our new monthly deduction is 1583 so I thought I was all good to go what I'm thinking is on my August paycheck they're gonna take out 1583 and that's kind of okay because I've been working some summer school hours in August but I just recently changed my DCP amount again to 510 and I'm hoping and this probably won't go according to plan of course because they'll probably charge me at 1583 whether they take out 510 or 1583 I'm still gonna be okay so I'm not stressing all that much what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this DCP fail into a first attempt in learning and with this extra money I was able to purchase 100 ounces of 0.999 point nine 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 fine silver which is one of my goals for um, before ending this year so I got that checked off um, and then there's gonna be a video about how I ordered the silver and then the unboxing of the silver in a future episode so stay tuned for that but I want to show you the spreadsheet I want to show you the numbers and show you how close my calculator came to predicting the uh, the amount of money I had. So take a look at this. So oh, what we're doing here is looking at my maximizing my paycheck calculator. Uh, this again would be uh, best case scenario: summer school hours plus the amount that I wanted my DCP to take out. But we're gonna keep the 
summer school hours the same because that was correct but we're going to change this up to 200 because that was the actual amount that was taken out of my <coughs> paycheck so let's see how my calculator actually measured up again i'll put my paycheck up here somewhere So taking a look at the net pay, which is exactly, um, that's the money that I'm actually getting on my paycheck. Remember our lesson, our lesson from last week. And I'm just double checking. And I see here I got $5,426.25. And my calculator predicted that I would be getting about $5,472 are $5,472 and so again these are it's gonna come down to the fact that I'm chopping off my decimals at 0.82 instead of actually like letting them run out but $50 here and there I feel like that's a really that's not a big deal because all I wanted to do is get an estimate of how much I'd be making so that's it folks the calculator looks like it's working and predicting what I want and so I'm gonna make another prediction I'm going to assume that DCP is going to take out this much but my summer school hour is going to be reduced to about 795.70 I'll just put it as the whole number so my paycheck should be about probably 3410 uh, based off of what my calculations say not too bad I'm happy the I'm I'm happy because I know my calculator works um, while I didn't get the money going to where I wanted to it's not that big of a deal because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna beat myself up that it didn't work out the way I wanted to this time we're gonna turn that fail into a first attempt in learning like I said um, now I know that when they say it may take 30 days to transfer the money uh, I'm gonna believe them okay and something that I'm grateful for is definitely the uh, Amtrak train service. Seats were super comfortable. The leg space, I could kick my legs out for days and just, it was a beautiful experience and the scenery was amazing. So as summer is wrapping up, comment below, tell me what you're doing in the final stretches of summer. Are you going on vacations? Are you hanging out with more friends as much as you can? Let me know what's up in the comments. And that's going to do it for this episode, folks. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you. And remember to smile because you are beautiful.